One thing about growth, it's easier said than done. Recent events, my solo work has been taking off. The way we was always struggling, if one person make it, we all make it. We've all had solo aspirations, but our goal has always been to be the best rap group. My name is Ben Riley, from Brooklyn, New York originally, but I'm based out of Atlanta, Georgia. I really got into like actually making music when I was like 14 years old in high school. And uh, that's when I met my guys and we all love rap. We would always freestyle together and we would always like, you know, just try to find ways to like rap together. And um, it got to a point where we was like, all right, let's take it serious. Ever since it's been all of us going crazy. We created a space for people who want to be themselves to just embrace other people with no pressure or any anxiety to perform or conform to any other role. Just be you and do you, you know? Where my confidence comes from is just knowing the parts of myself that I've been scared to show, the parts of myself that I've been reluctant to uh, embrace. Just building up my skin, building up my character to embrace what may not be normal for people. When you really like try to be yourself and not try to be anybody else or just try to fit in, it's kind of hard for you to kind of get traction at first. We ain't as big as we gonna be, but it's definitely, it's definitely starting. Everybody has grown into their own style, their own persona, so as you can see within the group, everybody has their own different look. I've been more confident within, I'll say this year, to like really dish it out because these past, the whole year, just been locking in on owning the sound. This is something that was organically made over time. So, you know, it's definitely a badge of honor to be able to say that I'm a part of abstract media just because, you know, I feel embraced by each other and we ride. We are at Bandwidth Studios. This is Abstract Media HQ. Amongst each other, we've had our tips, we've had our differences. It's been difficult for all of us to get together because, you know, we're living lives, we're not living off our craft just yet. And we figured out ways to, like, talk through it and work through it and, like, we gonna talk to our bosses, tell them, yo, every Wednesday, sun up, sun down, working on music. Been through the worst, I was helping at first, but see, now I just focus on me. I'm the man with the knowledge, really go search and find it. I was trying to move their work, I know that they been home. Give them a bone and they follow you home and they latch onto you and that just like a flea. We have hella group music, so now it's just a matter of figuring out where, what direction we wanna go with that and, you know, what new stuff we wanna apply to it. But recent events, um, my solo work has been taken off. Even in that, everyone's been super supportive of that. Everyone's been like rallying behind me. Like when Maytag went viral, I'm hitting all the guys. Yo, what's going on? I'm crying on the phone, bruh. You cannot believe this. Like, I don't got a problem saying I'm crying. I'm crying, like, bro. It was super exciting and everybody was super excited for it. The way we was already always struggling with each other, you know what I'm saying? Like sharing meals and, and clothes and in the car and everything. Like, it was natural that if one person make it, we all make it. My project Freelance Charlie is really me referencing me talking about like how I lost myself and I'm gonna find myself and, and rebuild. Save is my whole MO. It's what I live by, like save friends, family, save yourself, save the world. Everybody can't be a hero, but you could try to be the hero in your own story. That's what I try to do. Success looks like to abstract media as a whole, it's just prosperity all the way. If one of us could get the foot in the door, we could break the door down. So that's really the, the main focus, just figuring out the next step.